I'm running a trap line right now. This was the first one caught in a trap, so. All right, I'm gonna remove her head. Come right in here. Slice on either side. Pull it back until it snaps, same as we did with the possum. And we slice the head off, just like that. Now, come right in here and pinch this. And we are going to cut right into her belly. Now, same as last time, we want to put fingers in, put the knife on the fingertips, and run straight down, fingers in front of knife, and I'll split right into her rib cage. Let that blood drain out. Now, I want to come in here. to one side of the anus and come in on the other side and what I'm doing is cutting through the meat without damaging the, the intestine. I just leaned into it and got blood all over my shirt. That's a Something that happens. I will definitely have to change shirts. Come in here, cut through the diaphragm right now, which the liver is attached to, so that we can get the liver down. Come in here on the side. Cut that loose. All right, so when I had the possum, I was talking about the bile duct. And that's that right there. And you can see this one is full. So we need to come in. Oh, and I just ruined it. That's what happens when you cut into it. It's a yellow-green liquid. It is disgusting. To be honest, it may be a complete wives' tale that breaking that makes the liver unedible. However, I, it's what I was told growing up, and it's what I'm going to stick by. I was also told that when that happens, if you get any on you, you need to wash it off before you go back to butchering and wash your knife, just so that you don't contaminate the meat with it. And that's what I just did, was go through and wash the knife and my hands. Cut off. Go ahead and open that up. Up along this backbone, there are two kidneys. And same with actually all animals. The kidneys are contained in a sack. So you want to run the knife along the edge of the kidney, splitting it, and get it to pop out of that sack. Which is not always the easiest thing to do. There we go. And that whole sack will pull down. to the bottom of the kidney, run the knife up under it, and drop it on the floor. Okay. And remove the sack. Got one more to do. And that takes care of her internal organs. We are pretty much done with this girl. Um, I'm not sure she will fit in a gallon size Ziploc bag. She probably weighs 20 pounds. Popping her tail off. There we go. Well, one more thing with coons. Coons have scent glands. And those scent glands have to be removed. 
before you cook them. So scent glands are normally right in here and they're pea sized. Not feeling anything. Of course the front legs. A lot of times those glands come off with the skin. You just want to check them to make sure. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm take her down and wash her. Just got to find that joint, work the knife into it. I'm doing this out front because, well, up behind the cabin, back into the cabin is set up as a deer blind. Um, and I've got, it's squirrel season, so I left the deer blind up, which is the back porch of the cabin. Squirrels are coming to the feeder, I'll just shoot the squirrels from the back of the cabin. Right now, I know that this coon is not going to fit in a single gallon bag. As such, I need to quarter her. It's not a difficult process. This knife washed off a little. I'm basically going to take off her hind quarters right here. Down in here. There we go. Find that joint. Go ahead and pop that joint open. There we go. Figure out where the oh there it is. We're gonna remove the legs again down into her. Now, some people do roast raccoons whole. I guess I'd need to get a big old five gallon bag for that if I wanted to do that. There we go. Her front arms. Go ahead and cut her front legs loose. For the most part with raccoons, um, I'm looking at raccoon pie more than anything. Right, now we need to split this. Yeah, we're gonna need to split this. Let's come in here. At the ribs, and cut that up there. Although I found a recipe for raccoon sausage, I just have to try because that sounds good. Okay, get that are about ready to break. up. We're going to put these quarters that I did into a Ziploc bags. That first one in, that's the ribs and the backbone. And they both fit well enough. 
and zip up all four legs into a zip line back again. Now, let me get this fat out of here. All of this will need to be rendered down into a lard like substance. For, plus, for that bag of fat, when I uh, take this hide over and flesh it, I'll take the fat off the hide and put it in there. 